Okay guys, so I got the bottom welded in. Um, I'm not a welder, so don't judge me. However, my experience has been that they've always held up. I've never broken my beads before, so, uh, while well, off-roading, so don't judge me. Okay. Uh, I'm doing this with the flex core, and that's why they're ugly. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, I have to paint this up. But right now, I'm gonna be mocking it. Okay. I'm going to be mocking it and uh, I'm going to be mocking this thing onto the bottom and then I'm going to make brackets to it, for it. So let's do this and let's mock it up. So this is what I'm gonna do. This is an aluminum rod. Okay, I'm gonna go in uh, underneath my truck, and I'm gonna use this as a mock-up. Um, the reason why I'm using aluminum is so that it's easy to bend. Okay, and this is gonna, uh, and I'm gonna bend this so that I can make a bracket out of this uh, using a steel piece of uh, a, a, a stake steel here. So I'm gonna bend this and make this into a model and then I'm gonna bend this so that it'll replicate this model okay and that's how I'm gonna make the bra bracket so anyway let's go down there and I'll show you how I do this okay guys so this is what I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna bend this or not I'm gonna bend my aluminum piece here okay basically what I want to do is I want to make it so that it will be a template okay so I'm gonna bend this to right here okay so how I bend that is I used my handy dandy snipper here and I bend like that Okay guys, so this is what I, I'm doing, okay, basically, I am bending this, this is the uh, bracket that I made, okay, while I, I was underneath the uh, um, car, and so these are the brackets that I'm going to use to hang my um, fuel tank, so to do this, this is a, uh, a thick steel stake, and basically, you see this, I'm, I bent this piece right here so that it emulates this thing, okay? This is that steel plate right here. So right now, you see this bend right here? I'm going to cut some um, metal off here and I, so that I can bend it. So as you can see here, this is, it's, you know, within the same angle of bent. So is this right here. So I'm going to bend this down so that it is in the same angle of bend too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my cutting wheel and cut a chunk of uh, metal from there so that um, I can bend it. As you can see, uh, that's how I do this. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to weld this in. Okay, and I'm going to weld this in too. How I'm going to do that is I'm going to tack this here, tack this here, so when I weld this, it doesn't do that. 
tap this, tap this, tap this, tap this, and tap that. Okay, so that way, um, it doesn't warp. Okay, so. Okay, guys. So as you can see here, um, I've laid out the template here. Remember, that this is the one. These are the ones that I um, folded earlier. Okay, and I've matched it nicely with the um, metal stake here, here as well. You see, there you go. They're going very nice here as well, and. What I did was I welded the grooves that I uh, notched off to make the bend. So it should be good right now. I'm stoked. Okay guys, so it is done. Um, I'm just waiting for the paint to dry. And this is what I've done. If you look into the center of this, this uh, center is where the fuel tank will slide into uh, it is waiting to be uh, dried it's got two coats of the uh, rust-oleum undercoating resist rust rubberized and paintable and then on the outside here this is the underside okay it has the truck bed coating okay uh, the reason why I chose this truck bed coating is because it's, yeah, you know, it's cheaper than the undercoating. And also, when I get it scratched up, I just spray the thing in, and it's really easy. So these are the brackets that I've made. Okay, they're also painted as well. Um, drilled uh, with holes so that they can mount onto the underside. I thought about welding them in, but I decided to go against it. The reason is because if I, you know, I'm, I don't really want to weld brackets in because if I sustain damage here, I can always take out the bracket and uh, remanufacture a skid plate for it. As you can see here, there's a bolt here. Basically, I uh, welded a nut here to hold this bolt in and this bolt here will be uh, housing this uh, bracket here okay and uh, there's a bolt here there's two bolts right here okay pre-drilled already once the paint dries all I need to do is just to install it and bolt it in this as well okay there's the bad boy right here and as you can see um, I know the paint is kind of running uh, running the reason is because <laughs> I was teaching my son how to paint and uh, he's a rookie and so um, the paint ran a little bit but that's okay um, nobody's gonna see it uh, he did good and I welded the seam inside the tank here okay and I also welded the seam outside but it's right now it's still drying so you can't see so yeah it's ugly but who cares nobody sees it um, I made two sliders here okay this is in case uh, oh, it's for structural purposes and also to help the tank um, slide over whatever rock it comes into contact with and this is how it looks like on this side. So it's pretty, uh, I'm waiting for it to, to dry and then we're gonna bolt it in um, once it dries. I'm pretty stoked guys. And once it's, I bolt it in, I'll show you how I bolt this thing in. And once it's done, then um, I'm pretty much ready for my off-road trip. Okay everyone. So we are ready to do the install, and it uh, looks really nice, let me see, I'll show you how it looks like. This is how it looks like, looks awesome, uh, like I said earlier, I welded nuts to the side here, also welded nuts to that side, welded a nut to this side. 
as well. So it looks really nice. The paint is still curing. Uh, it's been left out in the sun for 24 hours now, and it's still curing. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna put this underneath and bolt it in. Okay, so that's good enough. All right, so let's go do the other ones down there. That's it. it. We have officially armored this gas tank. Okay, so it's done. It is mounted. It's really tight. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. It's rock solid. Let's see. So it's designed so that if it comes into contact with the rock, this thing right here helps with the. Uh, it acts like a slider. And then I'll show you here. Sorry, this is how it looks like. Okay, so this is this uh, bracket here. It's really tight up here now. The uh, this is what I meant. If a rock comes to contact on this ledge right here, it's beveled here a little bit so that it slides off slides off here it's beveled here so I uh, I went straight to the frame here so as you can see it's it's pretty leveled with the frame and uh, gosh I'm, I'm actually pretty happy because they don't make any of these for Tundra so <clears throat> I figure I have the tools I have the materials I could just make my own so here it is. And another view here. Very, very flush with the frame. See, as you can see, this is the frame right here. And it sits really, really flush. Thanks to my son. He uh, helped me with this project towards the end alleviating some stress uh, you have no idea how hard it this this project is well the reason why it's so hard is because we're working about uh, less than two feet off the ground here so that's why it was really stressful okay I'll show you the other bracket over there yeah so here's the bracket right here it mounts up until there and then that's the bolt holding it <coughs> and uh, yeah awesome as you can see here it protects the side here as well and uh, I'll show you how it clears the uh, differential from this angle it looks like it's gonna hit that differential but it's not as you can see here <coughs> it's it totally clears it see right here so this is pretty cool 
ain't never gonna hit that. Okay, and then the drive shaft here. It's a very narrow here, but it's not gonna hit. And uh, this is looking from the rear up. Rear up. Okay, folks, so here's another view. As you can see, that's how it looks like here. It looks like down there. And it hugs the underside very well. As you can see here. Don't know if you can see it, but I can. There it goes. Hugs it very well. Okay. Goes underneath there. Um, this is the finished product. There it is. Look underneath. Look underneath. Going to the front. And uh, it goes straight to the frame. Um, so it's uh, I'm pretty stoked. Let me know what your thoughts are.